The Portland Police Department is turning to new media in an effort to diversify and recruit the best candidates for police officer positions. I spoke with Police Chief Michael Soschuk about this new media outreach program. Well, Chief, the Portland Police Department is turning to social media in order to recruit um, and diversify the force somewhat. Could you tell us a little bit about why you've made this decision and how you hope it will work? Yeah, sure thing. Uh, first and foremost, thank you very much for coming down to talk to us about this uh, very important topic. Uh, the city of Portland is a great place to live and work. Uh, and the Portland Police Department, we've got about 162 officers and about 212 total employees. Uh, with the high number of officers, and we're considered to be a medium-sized department from a national perspective, we've got a turnover of about 10 officers a year. Uh, and in the current economy, uh, the current climate that's out there, uh, we truly have a tough time uh, from a recruiting perspective. Uh, so really, we started to branch out. We really looked at all of our uh, processes around recruiting, around hiring, uh, and have really streamlined it a great deal over the, the last few years. The latest initiative and something that uh, we're really fond of and I think is going to be great is around social media and that's the creation of these videos uh, that are going to be out there on Facebook and on our website and uh, YouTube and things of that nature. So you're going to have several different types of videos mm -hmm. um, out there on the social media pages um, doing specifically, dealing specifically with what topics? Right. There actually, well, there'll be a total of four. Um, we started with a, a simple 30-second video uh, that's on YouTube now around our physical fitness test and really just walking an individual through exactly what's expected of them uh, when they arrive for these tests. Because what we found is we have a very thorough and extensive uh, hiring process uh, but one thing that they can control automatically is if they show up in shape enough uh, to pass the test. And we're often surprised uh, by people that know exactly what the standards are and uh, can't pass the test when they arrive. Um, so we've, we put it right there in front of them. And then there will be a 60-second and a 30-second spot that really just talk about the department, kind of show some of our specialties and things of that nature. Uh, and then there's a 30-second spot, which I believe will uh, be the primary one that will be uh, shown on CTN. That's a 30-second spot that, that I'm just kind of talking to the city of Portland and to the region uh, about our department and uh, how diverse we are uh, and, uh, you know, the, the, the positives of working in an agency uh, like the Portland Police Department. Well, and I suppose when you go into schools to recruit, if you do that, I don't, I don't yes, know, we certainly do, yeah. um, during job workshops mm -hmm. and, and um, open houses, uh, you, you'll have a, vi a visual to right. show these kids. Mm -hmm. And um, to me, a visual says so much more than words when you're trying to explain something. Sure. Will these videos on Facebook and YouTube be available to just the general public, or do you have to be at a certain level in thinking about getting into the department? Actually, before? this could be the this could be the gateway. Mm -hmm. uh, this will be a very first level. You're just going to get a view of of the city, of the equipment, of the officers, uh, some of the specialty teams that are there. Uh, there'll be some backgrounds. Uh, voiceovers about some of our basic projects uh, because they are quick hitters you know they're, they're again 30 second spot 60 second spot um, so we're trying to get as much information in there as possible really what happens is we're trying to whet that interest we want them to call we want to have a personal interaction with them to explain really uh, you know more the details uh, and what we're looking for uh, in a brand new uh, recruit a brand new hire well and it makes sense uh, the media is where everyone goes now. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, you, you can't live without being part of sure. social media. Um, when do you hope to really get this going? Well, uh, I think this will be a big piece of that, you know, to, to do PSAs out in the neighborhoods. Um, they are on our website right now, uh, and we're just trying to get the word out as much as humanly possible. Uh, that it's uh, that it's out there and available, so that they can access that, and that'll bring hits. You know that whole social media concept uh, to the website, uh, so that they're in turn they watch a video, and then they would just click right on uh, one of our highlighted pages around hiring to get some more uh, specific information. Yeah. Well, and I think putting on your um, physical fitness requirements, mm -hmm. you might be able to use that as a challenge with the city. You know, sure. can you? keep up to the standards of the Portland Police Department. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I love that idea. Absolutely. Well, to find out more about this, um, wh where should people go? Uh, they could go to the Portland Police Department, and I say Portland, Maine Police Department. Uh, we do get some hits from Oregon from time to time. Uh, to our website, 
then that will allow them to, to move into the social media sites. It's right on the, the home page, right on the front. Uh, they'll be able to take a look at these videos, and it also has the rest of that hiring information right there. Well, it sounds great, and I think you're doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. We really appreciate it.